After my last zipper distribution upgrade, Tumbleweed upgraded as usual. Mesa, Rockem, everything. But then DaVinci Resolve broke. It opened, but every project froze on the loading screen. Snapshots saved me, but I needed a real fix. After a lot of digging, I found the simplest one. Run Resolve in a Rocky Linux container with Distrobox. No messy Docker files, no endless configs, just clean installs and it works. In this video, I will show you exactly how to get DaVinci Resolve running on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed the easy way. What we are doing? Keep Tumbleweed at the host. Your AMD GPU drivers and kernel modules remain on the host. Create a Rocky Linux container because Resolve targets Red Hat Rocky on Linux. Install user space rockm opencl inside the container, not dkms. Run Resolve from the container with full desktop integration via Distrobox. Audio x11 Wayland home directory. Why Rocky? Blackmagic's Linux notes and community guidance resolve around CentOS Rocky 8, so it's the least surprising target and avoids chasing edge cases. Prerequisites on the host ensure your user can access the GPU devices slash dev slash DRI and slash dev slash KFD and that containers can see them. 1. Add your user to video render on the host site. Use the command user moot. Log out and back in or reboot so the new group memberships apply. Those groups govern access to GPU device nodes that we will pass into the container. 2. Install Distrobox and Podman on the host. Use the command zipper install recommends Distrobox and Podman. Distrobox is a thin layer over Podman that gives you desktop friendly containers home sharing x11 wayland audio usb without custom docker files create and enter the rocky linux container make a container that has access to your gpu and desktop first create a rocky 8 container and expose gpu devices by running the following command using distrobox create second enter it by running the command distrobox dash enter and the name of the container in my case the container name here is davinci dash dash image space rocky linux colon 8 aligns with resolves red hat enterprise linux rocky 8 target dash dash device slash diff slash dri dash dash device slash diff slash kfd makes amd graphics compute visible inside the container needed for opencl and rockm dash dash group dash add keep dash groups keeps your host group memberships inside the container verify where you are by running these commands uname space dash a and cat space slash etc slash os dash release why sanity check you should see rocky linux version 8 keep the container lean optional but recommended avoid pulling weak dependencies and speed up dnf open the file slash etc slash dnf slash dnf.conf and add or set these variables fewer extras faster downloads enable apel or extra packages for enterprise linux inside the container access extra community packages for enterprise linux 8 rocky linux usually provides epel dash release directly so run the command sudo dnf install dash y epel dash release if that fails use the fedora link for enterprise linux 8 and then run the command sudo dnf upgrade dash y epel or extra packages for enterprise linux supplies useful runtime libraries resolve may need base runtime libraries inside the container Satisfy common GUI, X11, Wayland, Audio, and OpenGL needs for Resolve. 
Inside the container, install the following packages by running the command dnf install. These are typical resolve GUI, GL, ALSA, OpenCL, loader dependencies on enterprise Linux 8 based distros. Add EMD's repository and install ROCKM OpenCL inside the container. In a container, you do not install EMD GPU DKMS. DKMS builds kernel modules which belong on the host. We only need user space ROCKM OpenCL inside the container. First, add EMD's md gpu rock m installer repo package by running the following command then install just the user space opencl runtime from emd's rock m stack by running the following command resolve uses opencl on emd the emd repo gives you rock m's opencl components without touching kernel modules in the container optional check inside the container run the following command you want to see AMD accelerated parallel processing and your GPU listed. If not, recheck device flags and your group memberships on the host. Install DaVinci Resolve 20.2 inside the container. Install Resolve into your container mapped home so it is easy to launch from the host. Place the DaVinci Resolve.run file in your host home first. Distrobox bins it inside the container at the same path. Don't forget to make the file executable by using the command chmod plus x. Then run the file with these parameters dash n and dash c capital. Dash n is non-interactive. Dash c capital chooses a user writable install path. Installing in home slash resolve keeps it tidy and avoids system level pass. Blackmagic lists Rocky 8 in their Linux guidance. We are aligning with that here for the smoothest dependency story. Desktop launcher on KDE Plasma from the host. After installing DaVinci Resolve inside the container, you will notice there is an entry created in the application menu on KDE Plasma. To launch a Resolve from your normal app menu, and Distrobox will handle the rest, open KDE menu editor and find the DaVinci entry or create one and set program to slash usr slash bin slash distrobox dash enter in command line arguments field enter davinci space dash dash space and between single quotes slash home slash and your username slash resolve slash bin slash resolve we enter the line with percent sign and use small use the absolute path some menu systems will not expand dollar sign home reliably distrobox shares your home into the container so that path is valid both on the host and inside the container if you prefer a gui to manage containers using flatback to install boxbody boxbody helps you manage start distrobox containers graphically so why this fix to the issue you isolate Resolve's user space, GPU, runtime, ROCKM, OpenCL, and libraries in a non-good Rocky 8 environment that matches Resolve's Linux target, while keeping your Tumbleweed host modern and untouched. If Mesa ROCKM changes in Tumbleweed cause a regression again, your container stays stable. Before anyone jumps in saying I overcomplicated things with multiple steps instead of just using a container file, I did that on purpose. Not everyone understands what's happening when they see a container file so i wanted to explain the process step by step that way people can actually learn what is going on under the hood also i am honestly tired of some people acting like they are above others just because they know something we all start out not knowing and whatever we figure out is always built on what someone else taught us my goal is to keep things clear and simple because i had to learn the hard way and nothing we do is really new it is just history repeating and if you do just want the container file don't forget to check the description for the download link if your davinci resolve started opening to a blank loading dialog after a tumbleweed update this container approach is the cleanest workaround i have found no custom docker files no manual patching and you keep all the creature comforts of your host desktop if this saved you time drop a comment like share the video with a friend who might facing the same issue and subscribe for more open guides see you in the next one and thanks for watching